Hey, I'm Stephanie Rubens. Welcome to my channel. Today we are carrying on with our t-shirt series and we are talking about boat necks. Okay, so today I'm taking the same t-shirt pattern that I adjusted. I did a full bust adjustment. I know I have a t-shirt pattern that fits me great. Incidentally, okay, when I did this one and I sewed it up and on the video I said there's like a little extra extraness so I need to like next time I sew this I need to make this smaller um I realized that I downsized the t-shirt and I did not downsize the neckband so that was just just a mistake I made so uh yeah from now on when I go back to making this kind of neck it will fit properly because I've downsized that pattern piece now all right so let's talk about boat necks so my next two pattern hacks for the t-shirt are ones that I've actually never done before so they're not like full tutorials in the sense that I am an expert at this and I know exactly what I'm doing they're more like experiment tutorials like experatorials if you will that's what we're doing here so I have this um neutral brown and I actually I'm I feel like on camera, it, it's a little bit more baby poopy than it actually is in real life. I, it's a nice color in real life. I like it. But when I look at it on my monitor, I'm like, hmm, do I? Do I like it? I like it. Anyway, I'm going to do a, take this pattern and I'm going to adjust it for a boat neck. Uh, this is a 100% organic cotton that I got from Blackbird Fabrics. And I'm really liking it. It's really light um breathes really well obviously being cotton and uh eventually one day apparently we'll get summer here and i'll be really grateful to have some t-shirts that breathe really well so this is what we're gonna get into that's really all the intro i have so let's do this okay so for this boat neck here i have my uh front pattern piece is already traced out i'm just gonna write down what it is on the pattern piece so i don't forget and i've cut out the whole thing except as you can see the shoulder and the front neckline because that's the only part that I'm going to be changing here. Now I'm just going to use my back pattern piece here and I'm marking where the back neckline comes up to and I'm going to compare my back neckline to my front neckline. Now I'm going to mark out what the halfway point is between those two lines and then I'm going to mark halfway again between that mark and my back height. And that's where I'm going to put my boat neck. I'm erring on the side of caution. I can always like bring it down and make it more scoopy later if I need to. But that's where I'm going to go with this. All right. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to mark where I want my shoulder seam to stop. This is going to be different for everybody. I wanted something that was still going to cover my bra strap. So try it on your shirt that is already with your pattern or hold your pattern up to you and see where that is gonna be a comfortable spot for you. Um, then I'm gonna use my all-purpose design curve and I'm just going to make a curved edge. All right, now you can see what I have ended up trimming off of my shoulder here. So I'm gonna to have to make sure that I emulate that on the back neckline as well. So I've just marked on the shoulder where I need to meet up with my front pattern piece and then I'm gonna use my design curve again just to blend from that line into the back neckline that's already existing and that's really all there is to that pattern hack and you can see the difference between the back neckline and the front neckline is really not a lot it's a very subtle difference but it's really all that you need so i'm going to start off putting this shirt together the way that the pattern directions um, say to i have put my shoulder seams together I am going to put my sleeves on and then I'm going to go through and I'm going to hem my sleeves. I'm going to um, close up my sides and hem my bottom exactly following the instructions of my pattern. Then I'm going to do my neckline a little bit differently. All right, so here you can see I have my shirt all together. I have my sleeves hemmed. I have my bottom hemmed and I have a very slight hem pinned at my neckline and I'm just going to run my double needle over that. You could also run it through your overlocker and then you're done. And here we go, here's my boat neck. I really like it. I find this to be a very flattering neckline. Um, and I don't find a lot of shirts in ready to wear in my size in a boat neck. I don't know why. Um, maybe it's just a what's in style, what's not kind of a thing, but I really like it. All right, so there we have it. There is my boat neck experatorial. Um, I really like how this turned out. It's nice to have just 
like some little difference between all of my t-shirts so I don't feel like I'm just wearing the same t-shirt in a different color every day. Um, yeah, I'm really happy with how it turned out. So next time we'll be getting into another uh, t-shirt hack and I will see you then. Have a great week.